We are Ita Rocket Design from the Aeronautics Institute of Technology located in São José dos Campos, São Paulo. This is the preliminary design review video for the RDX Rockets project from our team. This project is part of the 2020 LASC online competition. Our images and values displayed are preliminary and they may be slightly different on the final design solution. Mission performance. All simulations are performed using a student-developed six degree of freedom rocket fly simulator. Flight profile. These results do not take into account gust wind or any environmental perturbations yet. Wind tunnel, static fire tests, and Monte Carlo simulations have to be performed for more accurate simulations. These results though show great stability in an apogee well within the team's margin of error for the optimal apogee. The predicted apogee in the latest simulations was calculated to be 3,345 meters, 300 meters off the optimal apogee target. Velocity. The maximum velocity predicted was 210 meters per second. The maximum Mach number predicted was 0.69, which are within our aerodynamic system's working constraints. Acceleration. Our maximum acceleration was predicted at 4.9 Gs, well within our electronic system's maximum allowed threshold. Thrust curve. The thrust curve was generated through our student-developed software. The maximum thrust observed was 2,157 newtons, with a burn time of 5.9 seconds. Aerodynamics. The aerodynamic coefficients were generated through DACOM software. The drag coefficient at 0.2 Mach is 0.35, the static margin at the end of the rail is 1.65. Center of gravity. Reference from the tip of the rocket's nose cone, and the center of gravity at launch is set at 1.53 meters. Our propulsion subsystem is a solid rocket motor with a pressure vessel machined of 4140 steel. The chosen propellant is HTPB and ammonium perchlorate as an oxidizer. Our dome is fixed by screws, while our nozzle is attached with a custom thread. The motor operates at up to 50 bar, but it's designed to survive twice that load. We also use a graphite nozzle throw to avoid corrosion during the burn. Our recovery system consists of three carbon fiber compartments separated by aluminum discs. The compartment on the right contains the main parachute, which deploys at about 210 meters above ground level, and the leftmost, the drogue, which deploys at apogee altitude. Between them lies the recovery system's electronics, comprising two dual deployment altimeters, batteries and remove before flight devices to arm those. Ejection is accomplished via detonation of two independent black powder chargers located at the bottom of each chute compartment. Airframe. The rocket has a diameter of 152 millimeters and a total length of 2.2 meters. It also has an elliptical nose cone and four main sections, the propulsion, primary payload, recovery system, and secondary payloads and avionics. It also has two external camera mounts. The materials used in structural components are carbon fiber, fiberglass, aluminum, and steel. The critical components were analyzed to ensure they satisfied the minimal safety margin of 100%. The avionics subsystem has an Arduino microcontroller that is connected to an inertial measurement unit. Besides that, it also includes a GPS, we use an SD card to store all data acquired, and we transmit telemetry through a radio transmitter using the ZigBee protocol at a frequency of 915 MHz. Finally, it also has a mobile scan for external footage of the flight. This was our preliminary version of the RTX. Thank you for watching.